Okay, good news people. If you're watching this video, then you're probably interested in extending your lease. And maybe you bought a leasehold property or maybe you've inherited a leasehold property and you didn't know that if you don't extend your lease in time, that it gets very, very, very expensive, particularly if you're based in London. Now, I've got some good news, so make sure you watch to the end of this video because I've got some updates on when new legislation is going to come out and how that will impact us. Now, I originally made this video because I have a flat and the lease is short. And so I was looking at options to extend it. I've got some solutions for you. So this video, I'm going to cover a few things. One, what's going on. Two, I'm going to give you a solution if you don't want to wait. And three, I'm going to give you the date that all of this hopefully will be over and things will be much better. So let's just explain the difference between a leasehold and a freehold. So a leasehold is often when you own a flat, although some houses actually are leaseholds as well. And that, believe it or not, means that you only own the property for a certain amount of time. You see, when people buy a property, they assume wrongly that they own that property forever. Now, you can extend that lease, but if it drops below a certain amount of years, uh, which I believe is 70, it gets quite expensive quite quickly. So there's this new legislation that's going through Parliament at the moment. And the first part of that was actually signed off last year. And that was around ground rents. Now, I've not actually had any problems with ground rents, but some people do. In fact, there's a flat, you can find this on Rightmove if you go and have a look, where the ground rent on the flat is £1,000 per month on a flat. And so people are trying to sell this flat for like 10 grand. <laughs> in, in, I'll tell you now, in Hastings, if it was, it's a sea view apartment. Uh, and if it had not got that problem with the ground rent, then you would be looking at realistically that being worth 250 grand, but they just want to put pretty much, I would assume if you gave them a pound, they'd sell it to you because you can't even rent it for a grand in that town. You'd probably get about 800 rent. So it's insane. Something bad's happened there and someone's done something untoward. And that's the problem with leases. There are unscrupulous landlords that do these underhand tactics. Now, I've always had ground rent in my properties that's been like, a couple of quid or a quid a year. And so no one even actually bothers chasing you for it. They say it's like a peppercorn rent, which means nothing. I don't actually give anyone a peppercorn. But what they've made happen now, because some people do have these expensive uh, ground rents, is when you renew your lease now, the ground rent uh, gets abolished. Uh, and so pretty much it goes to zero. So that happened last year in 2022. Great. Now, you're watching this video, I guarantee you, for something called marriage rights. I guarantee you that's why you're watching this, because that is the problem. This is the bigger problem. And so what happens is when your property drops below, I think it's 70 years, but you can check that. It doesn't matter. You, you, right now, you're watching this. You, 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 you know you've got to that point, right? And so what happens is... They look at what would your flat be worth? So say your flat is worth 200 grand with a long lease or 150 with a short lease. So if you had a 100 year lease, it'd be worth 200 grand. But if you've got a 69 year lease, it knocks off 50 grand off the value, right? So... The problem you've got there is you can't now get a mortgage or there's less options out there on the market. In fact, until a couple of years ago, nobody would lend on that, which seems bonkers, doesn't it? Like your house, you're going to own it still for 69 years. You'll probably be dead by the time that is a problem. Uh, and so and you could extend it any time that 69 years. But mortgage companies like it to be really cut and dry. Now, here's the problem, right? you would need to pay a fee to get the value back up to the 200 grand. And the calculation is based off what value does it add with a long lease? And here it's 50 grand, isn't it? 
With a short lease, the flat is worth 150. With a long lease, it's worth 200. So we would add 50K. Now this isn't real money, is it? It's just imaginary money. It's like what it's worth, not money in your pocket. This is where it's a problem. What happens is with this marriage rights, you have to pay half of what the value uplift will be to the landlord, half, right? So if by extending the lease, it adds 50 grand, which is very easy to add. And in London, could be 200 grand on a little flat. You could add into the value there. You will get half of that money that you've got to pay. So in order to extend this, uh, like a, a 200 grand flat, you would pay £25,000 to the landlord, which is terrible. Even then, you could only extend that lease by 90 years. Right, so there's a chance in your lifetime that that would drop again, or even in your children's lifetime that would drop again, and you'd have to do this scenario again. Now, if you extend the lease when it's in, like, the 90 year range or the 80 year range, it's way cheaper. It's a lot cheaper and the marriage rights doesn't kick in at that stage. And so that's what you've got to do. First and foremost, you've got to keep your lease extensions up to date for sure. Um, and that's really, really important. Now, there's new legislation coming out from the government. And so the legislation is called the Leasehold Reform Act. And that has already passed in Parliament. Part of it's gone through, as I said, the ground rent has been abolished. Brilliant. Now, they said the next step is to abolish the marriage rights. And so a lot of you have watched my other video on this. And you're like, great, when's this going to happen? <laughs> because, you know, legislation can take decades to go through or mo years, months like it can take a long, long time to go through. And so they did the first bit, but this is more important for most people. And so you're in a chicken and egg scenario. You're like, okay, what do I do? Because I want to renew my mortgage. Maybe you want to take some equity out or get a good rate because maybe you're on a variable rate now, which isn't great, is it? And so you want to redo your mortgage. But in order to do that, you've got to extend the lease, which costs you 25 grand. But you know that this new legislation is coming out and that's going to abolish this marriage right thing. And then you'll just pay the solicitor's fees to extend, which will be around 5K. So it's really frustrating that we haven't had any indication on when this will be extended. Now, what the next part is also going to do is going to abolish marriage rights. But it's also going to allow you to extend your lease to 990 years. Now, definitely, I don't know who you are, but I'm certain that you'll be dead in 990 years and so will your children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren so you're not going to be bothered by this at all and so once this legislation goes through the second part you will be able to extend by 999 years you never have to worry about it again you'll always get a mortgage and you never have to pay this marriage right stuff and so what I was suggesting in the last video was that because of this, landlords are aware of this. They are aware that potentially they aren't going to get this marriage rights scenario. So maybe you need to remortgage right now, but you know this is going to go at some point and they know it's going to go at some point. So you can have some sort of compromise. Legally, they can charge you that, right? And you can't argue that. But what you can say is, well, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait and I'll do it at the cheaper price in a little bit of time, which I'll give you in a second when that will be. And so they, you've got an option, right? And so what you can do is now negotiate with people. And this is working for people. So with my one, I negotiated with them and they knocked off five grand off the marriage rights, which is reasonable, right? And so I considered that. But I didn't do that. I'm going to tell you what I did do in a second. So that's an option. And I have seen people on my other videos that have talked about that they've offered, when it was 25 grand, they've offered 12 and a half grand. They've met in the middle. And if I'm the freeholder, I've got an option then, haven't I? I've got the option of getting 12 and a half grand today or nothing in a year or two once this new legislation goes through. So there's a gamble on their part. But they might just be really hard and they might say, look, rates are going up and you can't force them to do anything.
But what my point is, you can have the conversation. All they can do is say no. So let's just say they do say no. And you now think, you know what? I don't want to pay 25 grand. I haven't got 25 grand. So what can I do? Well, one solution that I found is going back to your mortgage broker, going back to your mortgage broker and asking, do they have anyone that will lend on short leases? Now, nobody would do that before, but there are now lenders that will. In fact, when I first started talking about this, it was over six months ago. This YouTube channel started in March 2022, and I think I did the video on leasehold six months ago. At that time, there was no one really that would lend. Now my broker has five lenders that will do that. Now the interest rate is slightly higher and I can't have a 25 year mortgage, but I'm a buy to let landlord. So I'm just doing it on a 10 year mortgage. It doesn't make any difference on the monthly payments anyway, because interest only, it doesn't matter if I have it for one year or a hundred years, the monthly payment will still be the same. I've just got to complete the mortgage within that time. And in 10 years, I can just um, look at extending if this hasn't gone through. So I'm taking a bit of a gamble because I just wanted to get on a decent rate. In fact, I wanted to release some equity and move on to the next thing. Now they won't lend me 75% loan to value on this number, but they will on this number. Does that make sense? So they'll lend me 75% of this, but not of that, which it would be more if I got the lease extended. Now I could then use some of that equity to extend that lease, because that might be a reason why you're not extending because you don't have it. I could extend that lease then, and then I could go on to a better rate and I could even take out more equity at that point. So that's one option is going to a broker. And I would try a number of brokers because a lot of brokers don't have these lenders. Just ask a load of brokers in your area, do you have anyone that can lend on short lease? And um, that's one solution for you. Now, Michael Gover said this week, this is good news, that the Conservatives are committed to completing this legislation before the next Parliament. I've had a look online. The next general election is the end of 2024. So that gives us a deadline now that the Conservatives will have this done before the next general election. I think it's December 2024. So that's around two years, give or take a few months by the time you watch this. So that is positive. As that goes through, that might give you some more leverage if you're desperate to get this done. There's no nothing in the world that is stopping you asking to extend it. The freeholder says no. Six months later, you send them a letter with the articles of the Daily Mail or whatever that this is going to be abolished and it's coming through. They might get a little bit more desperate for the money. So there's some top options there for you. One option is go to a broker that can get you on a mortgage on a short uh, lease lender. The rates are about half a percent to 1% higher than the normal market. So it is a little bit more expensive, but it just gives you somewhere to park your mortgage for now. I'm taking out some equity and then I can use that on other deals. So I'm not fussed about paying an extra 1% a year if I can use that money and leverage it and take two or three more properties. So I'm happy with that. Um, or you can wait and you can negotiate. Now, I hope that has found uh, you. <laughs> For me, I was, I, what, what was frustrating in the last few months was that, you know what? You didn't have an answer. When is this going to be uh, coming to fruition? Now we've got one. End of 2024. It will be done by then. It could be done by this summer, that means. I don't know. You don't know. But give me a quick like on this video, guys. Um, I've given you a lot of info there. Hopefully that's going to help you guys. Do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. Check out all the other content. I've actually got a video on how to buy a property for just one pound. I'm sure that will be interesting to you. And that's right here. So go and check it out now.